Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74 and this video is actually on HDTV test Vincent who did a video on a video review of the X950G which is the successor to the 900F which is the successor to the 900E. But this video is going to be quick. It's not really on those displays. He does a very comprehensive full dis um, review of that display as well as artings.com. We'll do a separate video on that. But there is a part of this video which is very prudent at the very end of his review. Now this is Vincent. I think that's his Twitter. Or we can look him up. Excellent channel. I think he's funny as hell. Um, he's extremely knowledgeable. He's a professional calibrator. Some people don't like him. I like him. He's very thorough um, in a lot of the same ways that Artings is as well. If you don't know Artings, please go to their channel. Um, they don't have a lot of subscribers for the kind of information and content that they put out as well as the work that they put out. But very comprehensive, very detailed. He's very analytical, but he's hysterical. I mean, he very, he's funny. You gotta, as you're paying attention, he'll make you laugh and you're not realizing he's trying to make you laugh. He's very dry, but he's great. Um, what I like about his review of the 900, well, 950G, um, the acronyms get confusing, is it's basically, in my opinion, for Sony, it's their, like the 900E, 900F, their mid to mid high, very safe, basic, great displays. You can't go wrong. Um, with the 950G, though, in my opinion, it's still not high enough apart from the 900F or the 900E to warrant getting rid of those displays to go for this one. But if you're new in the market, this is one of the best picks out there. Um, but what he says at the end of the video, which is what I want to turn your guys' attention to, and I'd love for you to check out his video, I'll post it below, um, is at the 19 minute, 13 second mark. He talks about the state of LEDs. Um, he talks about it in the... Uh, from the point of view of Sony. But I think it also pertains to Samsung for different reasons. We talked about the Q90, um, the Q900R, and the fact that the zone count doesn't seem to be going up. Even though it would be in their best interest to eliminate blooming altogether. And when we see the zone counts, especially on his channel, they literally go across, they check the columns, you can do tests of it on YouTube. It seems like the count of these displays is going down. From the Z9F was drastically reduced from the Z9D, which is a 2016 model. This display has, I believe, I think it's a 65 inch, has 60 zones. I believe the P-Series from 2017 has more zones than that. So again, it's not always the number of zones, it's how they're implemented, how the local dimming is implemented, but you can't deny that the number of zones is going down. What he says in the video towards the end, and I'll let you listen to it when you check it out, is he talks about Sony kind of fading out of the LED and kind of embracing their OLED as their master series, letting the Z9F fade out and kind of putting the OLED as their, you know, their flagship and embracing that technology. And he explains how higher zone count, higher backlight, more powerful backlight, not just for energy, but for higher peak brightness, higher zone count for deeper blacks, isn't commercially viable. Uh, meaning that they're probably not making the money that they'd want to make back on a, on a display here with triple the zones and a higher backlight. They're not seeing the returns on their LEDs. So he alludes that perhaps Sony is fading out of the LEDs. Now, Samsung obviously isn't fading out because they don't have an OLED line, but it does make sense why their zone count and their peak brightness might diminish a little bit because the manufacturing costs, the, um, the cost of the equipment might not be coming back um, to them with a, hard, uh, like a high enough profitability range. If they are putting just more and more numbers out there per panel, they might not be making the money. And we've also alluded in other videos to the amount of displays you'll see in your gyms, in your hotels. That's where so much of their money gets made is in those corporate panels that are just bare bones. They're not so worried about us in terms, well, not just us, but the luxury line. They don't think that that luxury group is going to care about zone counts. And for the most part, they're right. A lot of people that can afford TVs of $10,000, you would think would be your highest end user. They are, but in terms of their finances, not in terms of 
caring what the TV um, is spec wise. That's the highest end. Give it to me, you know, send it to my house. That group of us that really focuses on that is a very small group if you really think about it. Um, but check out Vincent's video. The 950G um, review is excellent. Artsings also has one. I'll link both of those in the description. Check him out. He's great. Um, I like him. Some people will think that he leans towards OLEDs or he's bought. I don't I don't think any of that between them and Artsings. I trust them both. I've actually spoke directly with Artsings and they've been very, very helpful in my 4K nightmare, which is why I started the channel, which is why I'm here for you guys. Um, I know I'm putting out too many videos too quickly. I'll get to all the comments, I promise. If I miss your comment in a few days, um, resubmit it and I, I promise I'll get back to you. I'm a little behind on them because I've been doing these kinds of videos. You won't have to see me every time, I promise. Um, but check him out. But I think his take at the 19 minute, 13 second mark speaks a lot. It's at the end of his review. Stick through the whole review. It's excellent. Um, he also talks about how the Dolby Vision app in Netflix crushes blacks. He was one of the first to also talk about between the 900F and the 950G that when they are in the Netflix menus, Xbox menus, PS4 menus as I block him out, you'll see clouding as the local dimming does diminish. It does turn off when it's in the menus, which makes a lot of you guys who contacted me about clouding on your um, your late 930Es, your these displays, it's because the local dimming tends to be shut off in those menus. Then it gets activated, don't know why, gets activated once the content starts. So if you're seeing clouding and you're seeing a lot of um, edge lit bleed and um, just it's basically your local dimming is off in menus. It'll turn on during the content. Check out Vincent. Check out HD TV test. It's a tongue twister. I, I stutter when I say it, but he's awesome. Check out our things and let me know in the comments what you think. If you watch this review um, that he does that 19 um, minute mark, it does talk a little bit about the shifting in the industry and um, where if you have your Z9Ds, you have your Q9FNs, you might want to hold on to them because it doesn't seem like they're going to keep getting beefier and beefier. Um, really quickly, we I always hope that with every generation, we're going to see that 2000 nits. We're going to see um, that perfect display that has that that those dark, dark blacks. It, it sounds like financially, it's just not viable for these companies to put that much tech into one box and that much hardware into one frame they're just not making the money back the margins just aren't big enough which makes total sense because again we as enthusiasts we that are passionate about it are really really in the minority so um thank you guys as always again i'll slow the videos down so there's not so many at the same time and i will talk to you soon check out vincent check out his channel check out artings check out their channel i'll put their descriptions in the description i'll put their link in the descriptions below thank you as always guys take care